Hi family, salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your Sunna Queen. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. Please click on the like button to like all my videos. Click on the subscribe button and the notification bell beside it to get notified whenever I post a video. Please continue to share with your family and friends let them come on this channel because we have superb videos waiting for you love you all salam alaikum pick your glass cup put your eyes pour your drinks and let's go welcome to the snack queen odyssey today my brother and i had planned to go out very early but we had an emergency slot that we detected that this ran at swallow the night and after killing it and then it had a fetus oh that was so sad so i had to go to class to represent one of them because he was supposed to support the other brother in slaughtering but one thing i love about teaching is because i find happiness in it so it's just always good and when you teach a true when you teach children who are so so good ha you find that on ending happiness this girl is doing so great i didn't have a good handwriting in primary school i don't know if you had but i don't have so i won't lie and she's doing so great because she got the explanation of what i did now, in just a few down. minutes oh my goodness i am so happy being a teacher so here yeah, i went back to my brothers and you see one of my brothers subhanallah he is a clown like the guy was literally washing his legs a minute after a minute while he is here i don't know fine boy does anybody do fine boy while while um slaughtering ram i don't know but this my brother does that in fact he was like he shouted in one of these places I was like emma gave me low whoa don't call my handle and here i am after they have done everything in fact they turned me to an errand game and i said you have turned your stars to an errand game i'm here washing the meat and doing all of that and here is the liver and the kidney of the ram actually i'm not a meat eater but i have to do it then we had to go out this day like i said so it was already past two and i wanted to do the shaki but i could not so here we are we left home very fast to the market we went to um supermarkets and another market so here is us in the in supermarkets doing a lot of shopping going up and down actually i don't usually come to supermarket i think this is my second or third time in this market um when i came i, I saw that they, they have good bags to good bags in this place so i go there to buy good school bags not a fairly used bag -o. good ones new ones they said it's in this market actually so i love it. if i can't go to lagos island i'd rather go to this market and probably you should the market but here i was my customer trying to check out bags good bags for kids and they are new bags you can see so you, when you get to um supermarkets abu Yegba, super uh let's check in out what the woman has so i also got another bag so this one are four five hey last price now ah uh, also this one how much do you call them three five so the black one I thought there is 2,500 and there's the blue one I just carried now is um I think the Zara bag that I just saw right now is 4,000 Naira, yes. So on and on I continued to cost the bag and I took one of it and it's really beautiful actually. Yeah. So we got back to our almost uh, another place, another market. So here is where I get my shoes. If I don't go to Lagos Island, I get my shoes from this one because she is that superwoman that has everything she has all shoes that you get in uh, mandilas in lagos island this person is around my area at around um, uh, um where, where where is this place actually did i just forget oh my goodness but her shop is loaded she has everything you want to buy whatever you get in mandilas lagos island you get it here then i have another um customer who sells uh plastics and um uh, souvenirs in uh, around agbado agbadoja she's very good and i get all of my souvenir package here i went to check up all souvenir package so here we are going home fortunately for me while i was on the bike i met a junior from secondary school and i screamed her name subhanallah i didn't even know how the name came to my head and brother like, what did you know her? going home again from here we are going home our road is very bad in fact thank god you see why we're going on this particular 
journey to the market. My, I was telling my brother that he wanted to rain and he was like, no, let us go. I said, let us go. In fact, thank God that we went because this, the next day, it rained from midnight till the next day. And I'm like, oh, I wouldn't have even gone out at all. Our road is very bad whenever it rains. In fact, I don't like going out at all at all because hmm, I won't be able to walk. I always take my brothers along. So, so it's always a blessing for me. In fact, this day I was harassed in the market. I was harassed in the market by one guy. He almost put his hand on my face, just removed my knee cover. My brother, my brother stood up for me. I like, ah, he was like, you want to torch her? I'll be the hell out of you. And I was asking him that if he, was he my husband? And that was like, do you think you'll torture and you'll go school free? I will deal with you. And I was proud of him. No, I'm proud of my brother. Not I was. I'm proud of my brother. So we are almost home like this. Uh -huh. We have this fast leg. Yes, very, very fast. We walk so fast anytime. So we met somebody on our way home. But we are almost home now. So it was a very, very beautiful day. In fact, <laughs> it was a very beautiful day. So one of the things that I have learned, um, I've learned and I'm still learning is that don't let anybody intimidate you because that guy would have done a lot of things to me in the market. That's why I don't go to the market. And even if it's my last word, I have to take somebody along to the market because I can't imagine somebody harassing me in the market. And I have a lot of mahrams. Ah, that will fight for me. That, that will stand for me. Like, ah, we stand, man. So وأعطى أولى داود شأنا وإنه عنده العبد الأثير This is the second day after and my siblings, I told them to pour the um, liver into it since yesterday. I just made it, I just took it out of the fridge and pour it inside the meat now. So they didn't do nothing while I while I went out. So and the shaki, nobody did it. Let me show you the So here is the shaki. They didn't do it, so I have to just do it now, right now, right now. So imagine day two, my siblings didn't do nothing. I don't know. I don't know where I saw that guy is from. Anyways, I'm going to do it now, and I have points into the meat. So I can meet up with the cooking and all of that. And if not, so, we are about to finish with the shaki. So when I'm done, I'm going to put it on the fire, like I said. So I'm almost done, but you know, shaki now. So I can very stubborn sometimes, but this is quite easy. Anyways. Shaki is done, so it remains that I just put it in the pot. Okay, after I have pieces the char, so here is the meat. It's still cooking, so I can still add my shaki to it because I want it to boil more. It wasn't really tender yesterday. We put it back in the fridge and we had to bring it out this morning. So here is the whole meat. Imagine the whole meat. Meat is over. Rated for me, I don't like meat. I'm not even a meat person. I just do meat, but I don't eat meat. So I'm already adding the shaki. It's it can you say shaki shaki. So I'm already adding. It. I want to add it under it. It's the one I will remove last actually. So the meat I had to be done. Now we are done with cooking. Alhamdulillah. The end. Look, my cinema. Thanks for watching. See you in my next vlog. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please keep liking, sharing, and watch this space for another vlog coming soon. Thank you. Bye. Love you all.